Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to talk about our first forecasting method using exponential smoothing called a simple exponential smoothing. This method is uh, suitable for a time series which uh, does not show any clear trend or seasonality. Now we talked about uh, two types of uh, forecasting methods previously. We talked about uh, the average method where we forecast uh, that all future values will be equal to whatever historical average value we observed in a time series. Now in this type of forecast, all observations are equally weighted. That is, no matter whether the observation occurred yesterday or a year before that, we say that both these observations will contain the same type of information that we can use to forecast our variable of interest. Probably it is not very logical to think that all observations contain the same information. Probably the observations closer to the current time period may contain more information about our variable of interest as compared with the past observations. Past observations may also contain some information but not as much as uh, the current observations. Similarly, we talked about uh, the naive method in which uh, we say that the forecast value will be based on whatever we observed the last time. Specifically, the last observation contains all the information about a variable and we completely discarded all previous observations. We say that uh, only the last observation contains all the information about a variable of interest and previous observations contain no information so we completely ignore those uh, observations and thus we assigned all the way to the previous uh, observation now probably both these uh, forecasting methods they are a little bit of extreme so we need something in between what we can do is we can forecast based on assigning various weights depending on uh, whether the information is occurring closer to the current time period or far away from the current time period. For example, we can write our equation like this where our forecast will be based on uh, the value of uh, what we call alpha. Now, see here our forecast is based on all historical information. That is, our forecast is based on uh, yt the period before that and the period before that as well and we are controlling how much weight we want to assign to each of these observation based on uh, the value of uh, alpha the value of uh, alpha is between uh, 0 and uh, 1 and this alpha is called a smoothing parameter this smoothing parameter determines how much weight we want to assign to the most recent observations. For example, if alpha is close to 1, we'll assign more weight to the most recent observations. In fact, if alpha is exactly equal to 1, then we can write our equation as yt, and which is exactly the naive method. So remember in the naive method, we assign all weight to the most recent observation. And if alpha is uh, closer to 0, smaller weights are assigned to the most recent observations. So if alpha approaches zero, we assign uh, fewer and fewer weight to the most recent observations. So it's a kind of uh, an average method. So this is a simple exponential smoothing method, which is uh, in between the average method where we assign equal weights to all the observations and the naive method where we assign all the weight to the most recent observation. Here, we control how much weight we want to assign to the most recent observations and the observation before that by controlling the value of uh, the smoothing parameter alpha and if alpha is close to one more weight is given to the most recent observation and the weights decay rapidly on the other hand if alpha is close to zero smaller weight is assigned to the most recent observation and the weights decay slowly typically we use the value of alpha 0.1 and 0.2. We say that uh, even past observations, they contain some information about our variable of interest, but not as much as the most recent observations. 
In the next video, I'm gonna shed more light on uh, this uh, alpha parameter and how to estimate uh, this uh, alpha parameter. And then I'll show you the simple exponential smoothing method in R. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.